hello welcome again guys uh, thank you for subscribing we are about to reach 500 subscribers please share and like uh, post it to your friends who, uh, who might need it uh, today i'm doing another computer practice n5 question and uh, uh, it's an extra from question previous question paper one of the subscribers requested me to do this one so we're gonna do it quickly it's just a quick 16 marks question so on this question you're going to be given marks for recreating this spreadsheet here you're gonna be given seven marks for recreating it and then you're gonna be given another two marks for completing this part here then you're gonna be given two marks here two marks here and four marks there and it continues so you can quickly collect 16 marks on this question which is very 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 easy to collect let us go down to it now that I, I want to take my marker Okay, firstly, you can recreate the spreadsheet. Secondly, you must complete. Uh, for secondly, you must do the currency and two decimals. You know, we are in South Africa, we use the rent. So we're going to highlight the money columns. And you're going to go here under the number menu. And then there is li little gold coins there and a money icon there. You click on it, you look for english south african rent is selected once it gives you the uh, rent currency and two decimals so you're done with your two marks already now we come to completing this site oh sorting let us sort when you sort you highlight the whole area and they say you must sort according to december 2020 which is the, this column here so we're gonna select the whole area that you need to sort excluding the headings and then you're gonna go to sort and you're gonna select custom sort and you're gonna select what december 2020 and you want to select uh, sort by value and then they say from descending order sort descending order which means it's from smallest to the largest then you click ok it is sorted from the smallest to the largest so you got your next two marks there now we're gonna do number 9.4 which is what they say what determine the increase of all COVID packs per store per store name so we are going to determine that so when they say determine the increase they are saying what have increased between june and december you can see there's a difference you've got 60 and you've got 62 so the amount which is the difference between this one and this one is an increase but it is increased from where it is increased from the original amount so it is an increase from the original amount so which means the current amount minus the previous amount give us an increase but the, for us to get the percentage you must divide with the previous amount which is this one so let us do it quickly we're going to say put firstly when you put our formula is going to be equal sign and you're going to put bracket because our formula is a little bit longer so you're going to put two open bracket then we're going to do the current amount minus the previous amount then you close the brackets again then you put your divide by you divide by what you divide by the original or the previous amount again then you press enter you realize that um, my my cell is so formatted in r i have to change the format because i want what they want a percentage they want a percentage the answer must be in a percentage format let me let me mark it quickly they are looking for a percentage and then increase so so our answer cannot be in rents it must be in percentage so i'm gonna change uh, i want to highlight this area right here okay let me select pen they are looking for a percentage so make sure that your answer doesn't say rents because then in terms of science you're losing marks for science so we are going to highlight this whole area here this whole area we're going to highlight this whole area and then put we're going to highlight this whole area and then click on the percentage sign once you click on the percentage sign once and then you apply the fill down function fill down function so that it calculates across just to do this is two marks you can see it's very short that is why they give you two marks i'm gonna repeat it again it is 
the current amount minus the previous amount divide by the previous amount and then what you format the cells to be a percentage say because if it's formatted to money it's going to look like it is five rent it must look like five percent oh, okay i changed something there but it's fine okay let us go to the next one so in the next one they are looking for what average they are saying uh, give, you must give the average of december prices so it means all these prices combined what is their, their average so we're gonna select where we're gonna we want to put our answer let's say i want to put my answer there i'm gonna do equal sign and i'm gonna i can even go to 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 use uh, the, the our, our our formulas or i can type it in i can type the word a bed rage average and then you do open bracket well, immediately when you do open bracket you must select your content you must select the data from which average must be calculated so i'm gonna select this area right here and then i'm gonna close the bracket and i'm gonna press enter and it's gonna give me the average price for december let if i remove the mark i can see it there it gave me the average price for december and then 9.6 uh, 9 is the cheapest so the cheapest will mean what it will mean the lowest in the question paper they said cheapest but you know in terms of formulas it means lowest i'm going to select the area where i want it to be i'm going to put it here the answer should be here and then i'm going to clear my markers there so we're going to put our answer here they are looking for the cheapest lowest or the minimum so in terms of our formulas we use the formula called the mean we're going to put equal sign and we're going to type mean and we're going to do open bracket and you're going to select where it, you, you are looking for and you are looking for it in this column here under december after you select the whole area you close the bracket again and you press enter and it must give you the minimum which is like 62 62 run 70 cent thank you very much for watching up to here you've already collected your almost 16 marks 17 marks and then i'm gonna i'm gonna continue the same question paper there is another portion that we're gonna do separately on a separate video please share and subscribe and then please forward to your friends